Hi, this is Glenn Doreen, Senior Technology Editor for Popular Mechanics Magazine, and I'm here to show you today how to use your smartphone as a modem for your computer. And you can do it either via wire, or the really cool trick is how to do it wirelessly via Bluetooth connection. It requires that your phone has Bluetooth, and it requires that your uh, computer either has Bluetooth or you hook it up through a Bluetooth dongle. You're probably going to want to use Bluetooth 2.0 spec if you're really going to try and transfer any data wirelessly because, frankly, anything else is either A, not going to work, or B, much slower. Um, anyway, so let's get started. The, uh, right here we're using a Windows Mobile device, and things will be different from device to device, and Windows Mobile tends to be a little, you know, uh, uh, it tends to be adjusted to the phone that it's on, especially for things like Palm phones. But, so you might have to do a little snooping around. But here's a pretty, uh, here's a fairly common one. This is the Samsung Blackjack. And uh, first I want to show you, though, Windows Mobile being, one of, being what it is, uh, tends to be a little tricky, a little tricky interface. Um, and the internet sharing application, which you'd hope would be uh, right up there in the forefront, either in the uh, frequently used, which it never pops up on, even if you are using, even if you have used it frequently, or the start menu, where a lot of the most common programs are, it's not there. It's actually hidden deep within the menus. Uh, although you will see that uh, things like Singular Music, not to pick on Singular, there all the companies do this, but all the little data services they want to sell you, video, the mall, etc., that's all right up there in the, in the forefront. Where you want to go, however, is down to first Applications, and then to File Explorer. Wherever your File Explorer is, that's where you want to be. And then you're going to, uh, sometimes, in fact, I've found that on the blackjack, you can see that it gets, it can have a real slow searching of its own menus. This isn't even connecting to anything. This is just searching its own menu architecture. But if you wait and wait and wait, eventually it gets to the, uh, the folder. In fact, I'm actually a little far down in the architecture, but what you really are going to want to look for is the Windows folder. And the Windows folder is pretty much where they store all the little goodies that you never hear about in the Windows mobile architecture. Um, in fact, if you look through it, and, and it's worth taking some time to scroll through it, and you shouldn't be scared of it. It's not like the Windows folder on a Windows, on a Windows computer where you really don't want to touch anything because that's a system folder. Um, here is where they store all the ringtones and the uh, and the full and a lot of the little programs that you've never heard about. Um, and the more you look through it, the more you'll find. We are going to scroll all the way down to the eyes, and we're going to try and find. And by the way, there's a lot of scrolling to do. A lot of things in this folder. This is the dumping ground uh, for pretty much all little minor applications. So here we are. I think we've found. Let's see. Um, Internet sharing. There it is. This tiny little program buried, buried deep in your uh, phone. When you click on it, you will see um, that it really has very few little, uh, very few options. One of them, however, is PC connection. That's what you're looking for. Um, and if you look at the P at the connection, you'll see that it gives you an option of either USB or Bluetooth. If you find that Bluetooth, you're working on an older Bluetooth spec or, uh, or you don't have Bluetooth on your computer, you can still do this via USB. Um, and so here we are. We're going to try it with Bluetooth because this phone does have it. And then you want to leave the uh, network connection to, be, uh, to, to whatever is your standard network connection. And then all you have to do is push connect on this on the phone. And then, by the way, make sure that the devices are paired beforehand. That's another whole mess that I'm not even going to get into here. But uh, it works via the standard pairing protocol. You, you have one look for the other, and then you have the, the other uh, device look for, you have the, the laptop look for the phone, the phone looks for the laptop, they shake hands, they say hello, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, once they know who, once they know what, what the, once each one knows what the other one is, you can then uh, go about this. Here, in fact, let me up the brightness on the screen so you can see it. So here, um, we now have this is ready to uh, hook up to this, and we can then click on the Bluetooth application here. And every every computer has a different Bluetooth application, but here's mine. And then you click on it, and then they will connect. And then you're going to see even like the phone even sort of brightened up and paid attention. And then you're going to see. Here my Bluetooth icon is lighting up, and they even showed for just a second in the system tray 
the uh, the network. Uh, there's a little um, animation that shows that the network's hooked up. So now you can launch your uh, browser, and with any luck, <laughs> you'll find there you go. This is uh, this is the um, the internet. High speed, usually if you have a 3G connection like this, this is the Singular's uh, 3G network, which is works on the HSDPA uh, UMTS standard. Same, pretty much this, uh, the same as uh, EVDO standard. And they'll get you around 400 to 700 mega, uh, kilobits per second, which is slower than a uh, cable modem or, um, uh, or a DSL line, but still much faster than you'd, uh, than, than you'd be used to with any of these devices. In fact, much faster then the device itself search, uh, surfs the internet. So uh, now you can either you can just put this in your pocket, and you can just uh, surf away on the internet pretty much anywhere. You don't have to be in a building. You don't have to be near a uh, near a, a, a Wi-Fi card or anything like that. Anytime, anywhere where you have a uh, 3G connection, you can surf the internet. Here we're going to uh, here we're going to attempt to uh, load a page here, Popular Mechanics homepage, uh, just to show you how fast it loads up. It usually takes anywhere from around. 20 seconds to down to around three seconds, just like it did right there. So uh, as you can see, uh, the the network uh, varies from bit to bit, but uh, generally it's a pretty fast connection. For uh, popularmechanics.com, this is Glenn Doreen.